my dear brothers and sisters i greet you all in the precious and matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ a god is a loving god is just because of his love he sent his only begotten son into this world to die on the cross and to redeem the whole world his love is so unconditional because of his unconditional love he has given us a word from his book and i would like to read that the promise verse from the book of isaiah chapter 38 verse 5 go until hezekiah thus says the lord the god of david your father i have heard your prayer i have seen your tears surely i will add to your days 15 years this is the promise god has given us for this month i have heard your prayer and i have seen your tears many times you think that god is not answering your prayers and god is not looking at your tears but here god clearly says i have heard your prayers and i have seen your tears and surely i will add 15 years to your days this is the promise and hope god gave to king hezekiah when he was in a hopeless situation what is your situation are you in a hopeless condition have you lost all your hope just hold on to this promise and confess this promise tell god lord you have seen my tears and you will answer my prayers King Hezekiah was a God-fearing man. In these two chapters, he faced great struggles in his life. One of the Assyrian generals, Rabshaka, he came against God's children. He spoke ill words about King Hezekiah. Hezekiah was broken and he went into the temple of God. He spread the letter sent by Rabshaka before God and he cried unto God for help. God sent one angel to God. through that one angel god gave juda great victory but now in this chapter hezekiah became sick and near death and prophet isaiah came to him and he gave a word to him i want to read that verse in those days hezekiah was sick and near death and isaiah the prophet the son of amos went to him and said to him thus says the lord set your house in order for you shall die and not live set your house in order for you shall die but not live after hearing this word hezekiah was broken he didn't turn to any other human beings in the world he just turned his face towards god towards the wall and he was crying the whole night he was crying he was weeping he was praying with great agony he cried unto god and offered up his prayers he thought the next morning he would pass away from this world but to his surprise god sent his prophet isaiah to him again and he gave a hope giving word to king hezekiah that is the promise for this month i have heard your prayer i have seen your tears beloved brothers and sisters i know you are also in a situation like king hezekiah you are also crying unto god day and night you didn't receive any answer from god you are questioning in your heart whether god hears my prayer that is your situation that is your desperate situation but this month god says i will answer your prayers for i have seen your tears cheer up my brothers and sisters expect great things from god this month come close to god pray unto god believe god and confess his promise expect god to give answer to your prayers you will definitely receive answer to your prayers for god has seen your tears god saw the tears of hezekiah and god answered his prayer i want to read another scripture portion from the book of jeremiah jeremiah chapter 31 verses from 15 thus says the lord a voice was heard in rama lamentation and bitter weeping Rachel weeping for her children refusing to be comforted for her children because they are no more thus says the lord refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears for your work shall be rewarded says the lord and they shall come back from the land of the enemy this scripture portion tells about the captivity of god's children 
people of israel were taken as captives to assyria and people of uh, judah were taken as captives to babylon israel was in a hopeless situation god gave his warning through jeremiah but people they didn't listen to his voice finally god sent them to other nation as captives that is why children of god they were crying unto god from their captivity and they were crying and weeping unto god here word of god says rachel is weeping because her children are no more today many of you are crying because of your children many mothers are crying many fathers are crying because there is no hope about your children your children are lost they have gone away from god they are disobedient they are arrogant they are not obeying your words they are not living in your home that is why you are crying unto god for your children here god gives you a promise refrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears for i the lord will bring your children from the captivity beloved parents beloved children of god god will answer your prayers for he has seen your tears he has seen the tears of god children who were crying unto god to release their children from captivity did god answer their prayer yes god answered i want to read a scripture portion from the book of psalms psalms 126 verses 5 and 6 those who sow in tears shall reap in joy he who continually goes forth weeping bearing seed for sowing shall doubtless come again with the rejoicing bringing his sheaves with him what a hope giving scripture portion is this those who sow in weeping will surely reap rejoicing that is the promise god gives to his children beloved children of god are you sowing and crying with tears for your children definitely god will make you to rejoice bible says you are sowing with tears you will come again rejoicing with the sheaves with you god will make your seed into sheaves god would bring transformation in your children's lives and god will deliver them from their captivity as god answered the prayers of rachel as god saw the tears of his children in captivity god has seen your tears and he will answer your prayers another scripture portion i would like to read from the book of isaiah isaiah 25 verse 8 He will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces the rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth for the Lord has spoken the scripture portion clearly tells us about the sacrifice of Messiah on the mount of Golgotha here god says god wants to wipe away the tears of all his children without leaving one person for that purpose only heavenly father sent his son to die on the cross beloved brothers and sisters do you believe in the sacrifice of jesus christ do you believe that the blood of jesus will wipe away your tears do you believe that the blood of jesus will wipe away all your sins if you allow jesus to wipe away all your sins and save your soul then surely jesus will wipe away all your tears he is a compassionate god he is a loving god he is your redeemer just to redeem you just to save you he shed his blood on the cross come to jesus believe jesus give your heart to jesus and ask jesus to wash you with his precious blood then surely and definitely he will wipe away all your tears god wiped away the tears of king hezekiah and he answered his prayers god wiped away the tears of his children israel and he answered the prayers god wants to wipe away everyone's tears and god wants to answer everyone's prayer if you believe he will answer your prayers all through this month offer a prayers to jesus he will answer your prayers and he will turn your mourning into dancing i would like to pray for you heavenly father what a great privilege it is to be your children oh god thank you lord for your love and your unconditional love oh god lord you are a compassionate god 
That is why, Lord, you saw the tears of King Hezekiah and answered his prayers, O God. That is why you saw the tears of your children, Israel, and answered their prayers. That is why you want to listen to everyone's prayer in this world and you want to wipe away everyone's tears in this world, O Father. Lord, especially I pray for your children who are crying for so many months, O God. They didn't see goodness. They didn't see happiness. There is no peace in their home, O God. Nothing to rejoice in their life, O Father. Lord, I ask you to wipe away your children's tears, O Father, and answer their prayers, O God. Lord, bring their children children from captivity oh father lord as you brought your children from captivity bring your children from captivity oh god as you gave life to king hezekiah and extended his life lord jesus extend your children's life oh father and give them good health and healing oh god let them live in this world for your glory oh father thank you jesus for answering our prayers oh god this month is the month of receiving answer from your hand because of your unconditional love oh father bless your children lead them all through this month be with them oh god strengthen them oh god show your love to them embrace them oh god and bless them oh father in jesus name i pray amen amen beloved brothers and sisters god has seen your tears and he will answer your prayers Hold on to this promise. Confess this promise all through this month. You will see great things in your life. May God bless you.